what do we have here? Hello there. I am the Grand Inquisitor. And I have been stationed here on this Star Destroyer to oversee the construction of the space station. This Star Destroyer is only meant to be manned by a few personnel. So how is it someone such as yourself has managed to make their way onto the Star Destroyer, let alone the bridge? Speak quickly. Keep telling me your lies. This lightsaber is getting closer to you. Hmm. Perhaps that tactic wasn't strong enough for you. Maybe you should try that again. Perhaps you would like to tell me what you are doing on the bridge of this Star Destroyer. Speak quickly. Seems my fear tactics did not work on you, Imperial Officer, though I'm sure that's what you would like me to call you, isn't it? Don't mind if I keep my lightsaber ignited here, do you? I wouldn't want you to feel comfortable or at ease at all. Please do tell me your name, rank, station number, and what you are doing here this present moment in time. Name? I'm sure it is. Rank? Officer. <laughs> All you officers are exactly the same. Pretentious. You are not well versed in a way of empire dealings not have a clue about military tactics. That is why I, as the Grand Inquisitor, have been stationed here for the most important of all missions, personally overseen by our Emperor. Being an experienced officer then means you have worked with other Inquisitors as well. Which Inquisitors have you worked with previously? I'm sure you have. The fifth brother. The third sister. So, you won't mind if my lightsaber comes a little bit closer to you here. Keep telling me who you've worked with. The fourth sister. I'm sure you have. What about the fifth? Fifth sister. And what about the seventh brother? I'm sure you have. The seventh brother does not exist. That is not an inquisitor. Unfortunately for you, you have not passed your little test. Uh, that is most unfortunate, which makes me lead to believe that you are indeed a spy of some sort. Don't worry, I may not have the power to be able to take it from your mind, but I have the presence, the patience, the intimidation to get what I need from you. Imperial officer, or whatever you call yourself, you are no match for me, you, there's no point even trying. You do not wield a lightsaber, you have a pathetic blaster at your side, and there's not really a place that you could run to that I wouldn't be able to find you. So, perhaps you would like to comply with all of the things that I would like to do with you, and see if some leniency could be sent in your direction, before I hand you over to Lord Vader. Or maybe worse, the Emperor. A secret such as this, such as this space station that is being built in an unknown part here in the galaxy, known by a few people privy with this sort of important information. You think you are one of those people, do you? I think not, Imperial Officer. Whatever you say your name is, I think that you are lying. I don't believe you. That is not your rank, nor have you had any dealings with any Inquisitors. Look at this lightsaber. Look how you flinched as it came close to you. 
and again, how you flinch as it comes close to you again there. The fear is certainly within you. An elite, trained imperial officer would not feel the need to flinch, move, or react to an inquisitor's lightsaber in close quarters. However, you find the need to do so almost as if you haven't had a lightsaber come anywhere near you before. Unless you are, of course, a Jedi. A rogue Jedi. In which case, it would be my duty to hunt you down and take you to Lord Vader or the Emperor. Both would be more than happy to see you, and my prize, I'm sure, would be great, for that is my duty along many important things with the Empire, but hunting Jedi is what I specialize in, though you lack the intelligence to be a, a Jedi, and you don't have the charisma about you as well, nor the selflessness that probably would have been conveyed at this moment in time, so I just would probably assume that you are an overconfident Imperial officer, a renegade Imperial officer, or a rebel spy whose charisma and ego has overbalanced his own objective. Either one of those three take your pick. I will of course be taking you in, though I will give you a moment to explain yourself to me right now. You are an Imperial officer. I'm sure you are. What kind of Imperial officer are you? Where were you stationed previously to this? No such system exists. I know every single system in the Outer Rim and in the Empire. So why do you persist to lie to me? Okay, well, your uniform does look deceiving. Let me take that off from you there. Your hat, your cap here, no doubt has some sort of rebel signal in there, no doubt. Ah, there it is, a nice radio beacon. So perhaps I'll just get rid of that there for you. So we won't be encountering any rebels there, nor will they know your location. Well, it might please you to know that all communications are jammed in this area anyway, so why you had that radio on you at all, I don't know. This to me shows your inadequacies to be any sort of military personnel. And whilst we're talking about military personnel, let me take that blaster away from you. Look at this primitive weapon here. A very uncivilized weapon. And of course no match for an inquisitor such as myself. So I don't know what you expect to do on this Star Destroyer, except from perhaps try and scare a few stormtroopers or something like that. But you must have known that there would have been ultimate protection on this Star Destroyer. Did you not? Or perhaps that you were too stupid to actually do any research for yourself and your spies on your rebel cell location, in fact, are useless. Or perhaps I know exactly where you came from and I sent a small legion of my troops to greet them all there before you left. And indeed, they are all destroyed now and it's just you on your own. In which case, if I were you, I would want to be very, very obliging. So perhaps you would like to give me your blaster. Okay, thank you. And I will be taking care of that for you. Need I remind you that even if you get off this Star Destroyer, I'm sure the tractor beams will bring you right back. Though I give you a choice, don't worry. You keep persisting, saying you are an Imperial officer, though none of your story adds up to me. Perhaps you would like to tell me really who you are. An Imperial officer still. Don't worry, I will get the truth out of you. It is not a problem for me, and I've got all the time in the world to make sure I can work out exactly who you are. That is the job of a Grand Inquisitor. 
Well, if you're not going to oblige, then I will take it from you. See this here? This is a mind probe. All I've got to do is attach it on both sides of you, and I'm sure it will force out all the things I need. When I put it on you, you'll probably hear some sort of vibrating sensation. Though that's just the truth wanting to come out and urging your mind to say the correct things when I ask it to you. So I'm going to put it on your right side first. Okay, now it's attached. I'll just give that a few moments, allow it to work there.
officer. Perhaps you would like to tell me, are you a mercenary? Are you a smuggler? Bounty hunters, Jedi, rebels, you're all the same, all unwanted. Nobody wants you, I'm afraid. The Empire has place for all sorts of people, however, it does not have any place for spies. Perhaps if I just help you relax a little bit there, you'll be soon to divulge everything that I need. for the Emperor, and I'm sure could be found a position in any Star Destroyer, and you could take up your role in something Imperial, providing the information you give me, of course, is satisfactory, and there would be a fair bargain here. Don't worry, you can trust me. I am an Inquisitor, and I am to be trusted. The fact that there's a lightsaber close to you, bearing ever so closer, a force wielder, a device which guides your minds to tell me the right things. These are all the attributes you need for a trustworthy person. So you could trust me, you could tell me everything that you need that I need to know and then we could send you on your way and this would never even take in place don't worry I will take care of you all it requires is a little bit of appliance resistance is futile perhaps I didn't find it a strong location on your brain. Perhaps if I put it in the middle there for you. Well, I could turn it on now.
just... You seem a little bit more concentrated. Your mind appeared to be working, Imperial Officer. What is it that you would want to do as an Imperial Officer? To serve. That is what any generic officer would say. I would expect someone as important as you are to be stationed in this place to come up with something a little bit more complicated than that. I'm going to place this right on your head there. You'll be able to tell me or don't you worry. Let me place it there for you. Persistence is admirable. I shall give you that. Now, someone who is able to resist such methods would have me wondering. As an inquisitor, it would be my job to suspect if anyone should have any sort of force capabilities. I wonder what your metachlorian count would be. Something rather substantial. I will tell you this, any standard, normal, imperial officer would have succumbed to my telling techniques. Within the first minute, you have lasted nearly half an hour of this interrogation. Though the fear is with you, I feel coldness within you. However, that does not mean that there isn't medichlorians in you. Perhaps there is some force sensitivity that you are not telling me about. How else would you have got an Imperial Star Destroyer in such a sacred location? How would you have found this location? How is it you would have snuck aboard this very locked down and closed Imperial Star Destroyer with only me on it? This is my headquarters that you have broken into. I do believe you have found the wrong Star Destroyer, haven't you? This is not where any sort of plans are kept or anything Imperial based. I merely oversee and overlook and protect. You are stupid enough to come and see the station for yourself. Stupid enough to break into an Imperial Star Destroyer and stupid enough to get the wrong one. And stupid enough to land yourself an audience with an Inquisitor. And even more stupid to land yourself an audience with the Grand Inquisitor. So, any sort of resistance is futile. 
escape plans hopeless. You have no hope or anything. Your courage is to be admired. I will give you that. Well then, Rebel, please do keep telling me. Don't worry about the smells here. This is just mere... a mere distraction for you. Keep telling me all that you know, Rebel. What you are doing here, how many of you are there? Any of them, Jedi? And weapons you carry? Blasters? Good. Any other weapons I should be wary of? Thermal detonators? Anything of that ilk? It has been bought from my Star Destroyer. Tell me about your skip plan. No doubt you have charged yourself the duty of placing detonators all over my Star Destroyer. Whereabouts? Standard places, engine room, check. Predictable. Hangar bay, after you escape, check. Most predictable. Bridge, that's what you were doing here, wasn't it? You were here. Make a statement, won't you? The regularity of your presence here, your story, and your persona. It's because you're here as a protester, aren't you? A very clever protester to find this location. However, unluckily for you, I sense some force sensitivity within you. That means you have a choice. You have a choice that you could be taken. Perhaps you could be turned into one of me, highly unlikely. Well, the other choice is that I could destroy you right here, right now. Don't worry about this, Sense. This just makes sure that you are telling me the truth. with all the Inquisitors under the Third Sun. But I'm afraid your web of lies ends here. Oh, don't worry. Your persistence is admirable. Yes. Though, let's see if you can resist something of mine. Is it in the Imperial Officer's nature to resist force powers so well? Unfortunately, you have not thought this through at all. This is quite embarrassing for you, really, isn't it? 
If I was an Imperial officer like you, I would be really embarrassed. The fact that I couldn't think up anything sort of intelligent before entering such a well-guarded part of the galaxy. It's quite laughable, really. Only a special type of person like you could be capable of such a thing. Such a mistake. And because it's clear that you have some form of sore for sensitivity, that it grants you the right of passage to anywhere you want to go, your overconfidence is your greatest weakness. You've landed yourself in quite a, a situation now, have you not? You know the duty of a Grand Inquisitor, do you not? Do you know what all the Empire Inquisitors are tasked with? There is a particular interest in Force-sensitive people, a very specialist subject of ours. These Force-sensitives, we like to visit them, wherever they may be in the galaxy. We like to take care of them. They are offered a choice, a choice to come with us, without a fuss, or pay the consequences. And our missions generally tend to be quite quick. We are tasked with hunting down any sort of force-sensitive person being in the galaxy and deal with them in a manner of which would be pleasing for our most gracious emperor. So what's it going to be for you? Would you like to remain this Imperial officer you have conjured up? Or would you like to do something better? Something that gives you a certain sense of accomplishment, achievement, a purpose. Something that you are so desperately lacking, coming all the way here by yourself. It is quite laughable, really. Hmm. Still trying to be smug with me, are you? Good. Not to worry. But I'd like to thank you for joining me on my Star Destroyer. It was certainly great to make your acquaintance, I shall give you that. And as promised, I'll be sure to take care of you. You have been most obliging, and let me know everything that I need to know, regardless of whether you want to tell me or not. I'm surprised you are a force sensitive, and there could be some power in you, though you neglect the power to work in your mind to actually bring yourself a weapon worthy of my lightsaber for fair duel. Instead, you bring a pathetic blast and some detonators. How unfortunate for you. I would have preferred an actual duel. However, as promised, I shall take care of you. I shall take care of you. As promised, you would be most obliging. Well, I'm afraid all your information that you know here, this location, the space station, the Imperial Star Destroyers, who is based here, and no doubt you hold as many people as you can possibly muster by now. I'm afraid that makes you unworthy and unsuitable to be taken for any sort of training part of any Inquisitor program. Betraying your friends is admirable for the Empire. That is duly noted, for sure. However, I promise to take good care of you, and take care of you is what I shall do. Any final words? Take care of yourself. Cheerio.